Stay tuned as we talk about the proposed Groton School Budget with Superintendent Dr. Michael Grenier on this edition of Welcome to Groton. Welcome to Groton. Today we have with us Dr. Michael Grenier. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. I'm happy to be here. Yay. So um, it's that time of year again. Yes. Proposed budget. Yes. Um, so t let's start with talking about the approval process. Sure. The approval process, actually, uh, I'll start with the end. Okay. Uh, the board uh, voted on, on February 25th. By, by charter, the, the Board of Education has to approve a budget by the end of February. Yes. Um, but to go backwards, uh, we really started uh, the board's process uh, first week of January. So e every week, in, uh, one, at least once a week in, in January and then every week in, in February, the board went through a, a really a meticulous process. We, okay. well, I think we have a much better uh, book this year. I think the nice. municipal officials uh, will be very pleased with it. We, we really went through uh, and and listed every single program. So if you want to know what does the elementary art program, com what, what comprised right. uh, the, the, the staffing, the, the uh, supplies and so forth. A lot forth. more detailed. A lot more detailed, all, all the way to what's in it for robotics and basketball and English at the high school, wh whatever. Wow. So I, I, think, I think people will be able to track the budget and, and see exactly what the board did while uh, over their their two-month uh, really meticulous review, and I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, initially the town council taking a look at it and, right. and, and then the, the RTM. Awesome. Um, so obviously there's a huge amount of work that goes into that. So looking at it, I know it's still proposed, but what's right. the overview of it right now? Well, the big overview really is that last year we, we, we put forward a budget and it be, because the town was really concerned about finances last year, right, yeah. uh, we had to cut $1.8 million. I know, so, that hurt. So the way we did that, frankly, uh, was we cut the site budgets at the schools and we cut a huge amount of money out of the technology. Mm. And we kind of limped our way th this year uh, with, with those accounts and we're, we're, we're doing the best we can. But when we, we started the process, uh, right off the bat, I said to the board, you know, I think we really need to give the schools the amount of funds that, that they had last last year. Right. Uh, so we, we, we cut them by 25% this year. Okay. Uh, which was about $450,000 So it, okay. for all the schools together. Right. So uh, that was a, a, a big aspect. So right off the bat, uh, the, the big picture is we restored uh, about $450,000 we proposed to restore. To, to the schools. Okay. We also have in there a sufficient amount of money for, for technology. Right. Th this year's budget, for example, in a, in a $76 million organization, we had $44,000 for technology. That's great, because that was where you lost a lot yeah, last we, year, right? We, yeah, we, we lost. I thought so. So when you, have, when you have a relatively small amount of money for technology, mm. and you, uh, or for equipment, and we, we have about 10,000 pieces of technological right. equipment, meaning computers, Promethean boards, projectors, right. what have you. Uh, and so when you, you, when you try to have a, a replacement plan for something like that, right. uh, $44,000 doesn't, doesn't, doesn't get go you very, very far. far no. so, uh, so we've, we've really addressed that. Okay. Uh, and we, we have, uh, we've seen a little bit of uh, increase in our special education uh, tuition account. So, so the big picture, in a word, we've restored pretty much what we had. We're hoping oh, to restore what we had last year. So no, no cuts to programs, no uh, uh, 
no increases to class size and all the, the kind of components that parents really care about. It, mm -hmm. it, it, it is, a, it is a, basically a level funded budget, but right. really it's coincidentally, <laughs> it, needs to, it needs to go up uh, by about $900,000, but we can, we can uh, we're gonna recoup what we lost last okay. year using some, uh, some of our uh, health insurance reserve to oh, okay. make up some of the shortfall. So we'll be able to get back to right where we were uh, in uh, last year's budget. Well, that's great news. Um, so some of the things you hit on here were um, the technology. Like, I know yeah. in this day and age, you need it. And it's, it's like you just said, it's more than what you think. It's not just the tablets right. that the kids have. It's not just the computers. It's so much more. It's the, um, the smart projectors. Smart and, boards. Yeah, and all the that. smart yeah. boards. Yeah. Um, so, when was the last time all that was truly updated? Well, I, I, I can break it down into okay. the, 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 the types of, of uh, they sometimes call them interactive whiteboards. Yes. In other words, there's a projection there, but with a, with a pen, electronically Like the sports pen. playback. Yeah, sort of okay. like that. Uh, but there's curriculum embedded, and there's, there, there's, it, it, it's really become a key feature of our, of our instructional program. Uh, unfortunately, the answer to your question was most of that was purchased 10 years ago. Okay, so that's, as, 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 that's as a outdated. A one-time, yeah. one-time purchase. Uh, I, I say unfortunately because it, it'd be nice if you bought a little bit every yeah. year for 10 years. Yeah. Uh, so we've been using that technology, uh, and now some of it is starting to fail. Oh. Uh, that's the bad news. The good news is we're building a brand new middle school, which will have all brand new technology okay. in a year, okay. a year and a half. <laughs> uh, and we're going to build two brand new elementary schools, and those schools Excellent. will have state-funded reimbursable technology. So what we're really trying to do right now is take care of the, 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 the most pieces. pressing needs that we have the to get that us failing. through. That's right. Yeah. And then, so at the two middle schools, uh, for example, we recently received a big grant to have Westside become a, a STEM magnet school and Cutler to become an arts and humanities school. Awesome. And that came with technology. So th their technology actually is, 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 is pretty good. And when the, when the new building is opened, we're gonna take the technology from the two current middle schools okay. and, and give that to the other schools. Okay. Uh, so it's, it's a bit of a, a, a rolling process. Right. But, the, but I guess the big answer uh, to your question is, what we really need to do is implement a five-year replacement plan. And, yeah. and you know, it, it makes sense. We, we give, now we give every ninth grader and every new student to the high school a Chromebook, yep. which has really become that's, oh, that's the, the kind of the yeah. instructional platform. Yeah. Textbooks are on the Chromebook. Yes. Uh, assignments are assignments, handed in that yeah. way. It's, it's, it's certainly teachers. not the way we went to school. No, it definitely <laughs> isn't. But my little middle schooler, she has the same yeah. thing. So I, yeah. it's just part of the way it is. So it's important. Right. So right. 10 years is a long yes. time. The, the other aspect about technology is that the, uh, I, I think it's important for, to have people understand that the statewide tests that are so important, they are given on the computer. Okay. Starting in third grade. So children need to have the ability to manipulate a screen, yes. obviously to type. Right. Uh, so third through eighth grade and, the, and then the 11th graders uh, take an SAT exam. So virtually all of the assessments that are, 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 are the... given are, are on online. Right. And so it's hugely important. Well, you know, and obviously in our world today. Yeah. You know, uh, technology and is, 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 is important. And we continue to receive some really terrific uses, uh, applications of technology for instructional purposes. Uh, National Geographic, for example, uh, they were telling me about, about a program that not only would take you to the tops of mountains and everything, mm -hmm. but it would take you inside the human body and, and oh, wow. travel around through the bloodstream. And, and the teachers are just blown away by the technology. And how much, like, if your teacher's blown away, how cool is that for the kids? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it is. Uh, you know? Well, they come back from a professional development, you know, in, 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 years ago, it's like, oh, God, you know, we yeah, went from we more go. professional yeah. development. Now, when they come back from these technology... Uh, They're just so passionate. Oh, oh. They, they are just really, really excited and, and, and bring the, the technology to the kids. And pretty much, even at the middle school, we have enough computers uh, to uh, give a computer pretty, pretty much to every child. Oh, that's wonderful. So um, 
we have to cut for break soon, but I think that's amazing. And you mentioned the grants you write, the, that yes. you put into those grants the need for the technology. And I think that's right. so important and for everybody to be aware of how much you guys yeah. think it through is. Um, we, we've We've, we broke our, in fact, in our budget book, we, we, we've broken down the, the, the grants. We get certain grants be, because all school districts get grants, so I, right. I refer to them as categorical. You, you get it because you're in this category. Right. But then there are competitive grants, and we have been pretty aggressive in trying to get competitive Good. grants. And because we're a military district, that, that helps. allows us to apply for ah. Department of Defense Education Activity Grants. So we've right. received a huge grant to support Teachers College, Columbia University writing teachers okay. to come work with our with our our kids and our teachers. We have a whole math program again through the military, and and this year uh, we received a, an outdoor STEM education, so there'll be summer astronomy, and awesome. as well as a, a career program at, at at the high school where kids will be able to get an international baccalaureate certificate in nursing business, culinary arts, How engineering. Incredible. Yeah, so we're we're really excited about I'm that. I'm excited for you. I can yeah. see it. Yeah. I love yeah. it. You're so excited. <laughs> Um, that's just fantastic, and I think our community should know how much you guys do. Like you said, some of the grants are just part of just our location and where we are. Right. But you are being aggressive, and that's something they need to know that yeah. you guys are doing behind the scenes. Right, right. Um, you're working hard for the students, because that's and what it is. It is paying huge dividends for the students. Like, yeah, I, I that's can, what it's all about. Um, so when we come back, I want to talk more about some of the, like, the retaining of the students and stuff sure. and a lot more of the details of the budget. Yeah. Um, great. So stay tuned. We'll be right back with Welcome to Gotten. What to expect when you're expecting? Like here? A teenager. Today, I'm going to show you how to team-proof your home. First step, hide the car keys. Preferably somewhere they would never look. Challenges will come up. Be ready for them. Hi, honey. Ready for the mom. You don't use mannequins in the mannequin challenge. You don't have to know it all to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. <laughs> look at you. You're at the top of your game. You're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. That will throw you off track. You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Let's try this again. Smart move. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Welcome back. We're here today with Dr. Michael Grenier. Pleased to have you. Um, so we're talking about the proposed school budget for 2020. Um, can we talk about, we have a new governor this year, the state funding. Can yes. you talk about that? Well, in the case of Groton, uh, there, there, there's good news. Uh, be, Great. Be, because uh, last year, we were identified as an alliance school district, uh, which essentially means that the state provides additional funding to the uh, 30, and then they expanded it to 33. That's how uh, Groton was included. Okay. Uh, 33 districts that have the most needs, the most struggling students. And there are 12 indicators. Although we do well on the academic indicators, uh -huh. there are some other indicators uh, that we have that we uh, some improvement to, to do. But, but anyway, we were identified as an alliance district. And because of that, the big grant that the state provides for education is called the Education Cost Sharing Grant. The, uh, Groton, for the last 10 years approximately, has gotten $25 million. Okay. And because of the Alliance District designation, uh, it cannot be reduced. So That's fantastic. So next year we'll get another $25 million, and then the year after that because it's a two-year budget. Okay. So as long as we are, are classified as, as an Alliance District, uh, it will pay for about a third of the of the school of the budget, school. which is which is huge support to the that town. That is huge. Yes, yeah. that's wonderful news. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. So um, you guys just do so much for all the students, and we appreciate it. So um, 
Along those lines, I know we talked last year about how it was kind of hurting Groton that a lot of the kids were going out of town for school. Right. How's that looking for this year? Well, that has really improved oh, great. A, a, a great deal. The, the, the main areas, we, we have two magnet elementary schools, mm -hmm. uh, Northeast Academy and, and Catherine Konowski. And in the case of Catherine Konowski, when I say magnet schools, it open to any child in Groton what they call intra-district, okay. uh, uh, as, as opposed to going out of town. But uh, Catherine Kolnowski is, is a neighborhood school, but it's also a magnet school. Okay. And 36% of the children at that school are not from the neighborhood. Oh, they cool. go there because it's a STEAM school, science, technology, engineer, art, Arts and math. And I, yeah. uh, so that's been, uh, that, that's been a, 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 a good way of holding on to students. Because we got a grant last year, and we began both of our, our mag, uh, of our middle schools, West Side is now a STEM magnet school, open to awesome. any, any child in, in Groton. That's great. And Cutler is now an arts and humanities magnet school. Wow. Again, open to students, obviously, in the mystic side of town, but also West Side. So we've had a fair number of students. About 60 students have switched. Okay. Uh, and so the, the net result of that is they are not going anywhere Outside near the numbers that they were knowing. So, so our population in the middle school has actually increased. Oh, how uh, so awesome. we're, so we're, we're holding on uh, to our students. And, and of course, uh, we'll probably talk about this later, but a year and a half from now, uh, we, we intend to open new Groton Middle School. Right. Uh, and, uh, and then all the students will, will be together uh, located right next to Fitch High School mm -hmm. and we have started in, the other reason I think the middle schools have become attractive is because we've started a, an international baccalaureate middle years program yes so when the school opens when Groton Middle School opens it will be six seven eight nine, nine. and ten so we think of that as an international baccalaureate campus Oh, I on love the top it. of Fort Hill. So we're, we're really excited about that. That is really awesome so I think that's, that's helped us to retain some of our population. Yeah, I think that's great news for Groton. Um, so with that, is there going to be, I mean, where are we looking at for the teachers? The teachers are, there will be some consolidation. We okay. really anticipate some of the teachers will either go to the high school or to elementary school. Uh, there may be some through uh, retirement, okay. but there'll be a consolidation of, okay. of, of, of staff, uh, which is going to provide some cost savings for the town, okay. uh, or cost avoidance maybe is a better that, way yeah, of saying Yeah, I think, yeah, uh, cost avoidance sounds yeah. much better. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Uh, um, but we're, we're, you know, the, the name Groton, we, we, we had a committee uh, to name the new middle school. Oh, okay. And uh, one of our young teachers uh, being tech savvy said let's do a survey so we did a survey mm -hmm. uh, to uh, to the parents and, and, and the students and, and, and teachers and we got about 725 That's suggestions. That's a great reply. A, 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 a good a, a good strong consensus was because we are really trying to bring these two schools together uh -huh. and to bring the town together frankly yeah uh, is to have one Groton so a lot of people said, let's just call it Groton Middle School. Not Westside, not right, Cutler, right. not Mystic, but just, just Groton. Groton. And, and the committee unanimously suggested oh. that. We presented it to the board and they accepted it. So uh, by the time uh, this, people are looking at this show, uh, about a week from then, uh, we are going to begin uh, the construction process on the awesome. on top of Fort Hill uh, to build Groton Middle School. Oh my gosh. So we are extremely excited about oh, that. Oh, I can see why though. That's yeah. oh, fantastic news. Um, my gosh, I don't even know where to go from now. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so let's talk about, um, well, we kind of hit on it, but the projected school enrollment for next year. The, the, you know, it's interesting. Groton has r remained at about 5,000 students for, for approximately 10 years. Okay. Uh, what, what has happened over the last uh, five or six years, especially since New London became a 100% uh, magnet district, mm -hmm. uh, between students going to the regional multicultural magnet school, which has been very attractive for a long time, uh, and New London uh, STEM high school, right. and, and now uh, New London elementary schools, uh, ab about 500 students have 
gone to regional magnet schools. Okay. Uh, and the population of the resident students has been pretty much about 4,500. So, okay. so Groton is still, Groton board budget, is still supporting 5,000 children. So, right. so the population has remained pretty constant, but now, as I said, we're starting to see, especially with these magnet schools, uh, more of those back. students coming back to our schools. Okay, I like that. That sounds so good. Um, so we talked about in the first half of the show the um, technology part of it. Right. And um, how is technology and within the budget going to help the literacy and the math? Well, the first thing I'd like to talk about in terms of technology is something new that, that we have. We have a remedial and enrichment program now being offered online okay. uh, at the high school and at the middle school. Uh, I'll talk about that first. Uh, students can now take courses, and uh, some people may know what a Khan Academy is. It's, a, it's a, a kind of a video clip where this fellow teaches you how to do algebra or yes. something. Um, so they now have developed courses where a student goes online, okay. studies a couple of lessons, looks at a couple of Khan Academy videos, mm -hmm. uh, and then takes some quizzes and marches through his the... way, her way, th through, through her course. We started that as credit recovery. In oh, other okay. words, a summer, summer school program. Right. But then when we opened the summer school, we had a number of students who wanted to take courses just because they wanted to advance just to themselves. Keep going. And so we've had kids take advanced geometry, advanced sciences, oh. and then we realized, not just in the summer school, but we could offer it during the school year, uh, like languages that we don't offer. Okay, Students could great. take German and Chinese and Russian and awesome. well, whatever they want. So, uh, and then we realized they have tutorials, not just to get credit, right. but if someone is struggling with a French class or right. something, they're actually tutorials. So, and, and since the high school students have their own computer, then they have access to this 24-7. Right. And that's been really terrific. The technology at the elementary school, there's some wonderful reading and math programs that children do as, as part of their regular mm -hmm. instructional day, uh, but also we explain how to do it to the parents. And so the students uh, can get enrichment and support and remediation at home. Yeah. So technology is really oh. providing a, 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 a real strong, solid support for our, our yeah. learning. As a parent of a child in, in a school that uses it, I think it's fantastic. And yeah, it, I mean, from looking in, you might be like, oh, that child's always looking at the thing. But yeah. you look closer, the child is actually doing a tutorial or studying right. for a right. quiz or right. taking a quiz. Yes. And yes. It's, I think it's amazing how much you guys yeah. are offering for all your what, students. What uh, so, so somebody said to me uh, uh, about two years ago that the most significant development in, in the 21st century was the invention of the smartphone right. because it has changed the way we learn totally. so when we are at home mm -hmm. and we need to figure out how to fix the dishwasher uh, oh we use you, it for you, everything you go to youtube yeah <laughs> i had my mother use it the other day and yeah, yeah. everybody uses it and i think so it's fantastic it's become a learning tool and mm -hmm. we've incorporated that right into the curriculum yeah i think it's great that you guys not only welcome it, but have actually used it to its highest potential. Yes. Yeah. So that's fantastic, Groton, doing that. Um, so another totally off tangent, but school security. Yes. Can we talk about school security? Yeah. We, we've, had, we've had some really wonderful support for, uh, and, and collaboration with, with the, both the city of Groton Police Force and, yeah. and, and the town of Groton. So uh, the board and, and the town cooperate uh, financially okay. uh, and to provide a, a, a full-time uh, school resource officer okay. for, for uh, Fitch High School uh, officer Scott Bousquet and he is a member of the faculty in every sense of the word he knows the, the kids the kids know him great and and I always say to Chief Fasaro this is the best community policing we have totally. yeah. and so he services 1100 uh, of our of our uh, young people at, yeah. at the high wrap school. your heads around that 1100 students yeah it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's it's really significant and and has provided security training and 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 and, and of course uh, a, a voice uh, to articulate what needs to be done and and he's mm. a terrific listener and the kids kids really have a great rapport but uh, this year we also uh thanks actually to the town of groton we have a, a 
a school resource officer at, at Cutler oh, uh, great. Uh, Middle School, and that has greatly helped. And we have a, a part-time, about two-thirds time, a resource, resource officer, thanks to the city of Groton, at, at Westside. Awesome. Uh, and we have DARE officers at, at, at all of the elementary schools. So we have a, a, a really strong connection to law enforcement. Yep. Uh, we have procedures in place uh, where uh, the schools practice what needs to be done in, in, in the case of emergencies and so forth. I don't think anyone takes security these days uh, for, no. for, for granted. It's, it's, uh, yeah. you know, it's a frightening, frightening situation when you hear about uh, schools. But uh, we do the best we can. And then the, the other huge side of that is, uh, is the uh, emotional mental health of, of, our, of our staff, of yes. our students, of yes. our parents. And so we've really, especially uh, Assistant Superintendent uh, Susan Austin, she's really led a charge in, in, in pushing for uh, I increased uh, mental health services. Oh, good. So we, we reach out to students. We have great cooperation with, uh, we have a school resource, uh, I mean, excuse me, a, a health, uh, health center in our okay. school, uh, in, in uh, many of our schools. So we have clinical uh, folks, uh, counselors, psychologists, who help with that. Uh, there's a, a community-based uh, uh, mental health uh, uh, system where we can call upon them and they will come in and evaluate students. Uh, that is, is, we use on you a need, yeah. fairly regular basis and parents are extremely su supportive and appreciative uh, when, when, when we call upon that. Right. It, 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 is, uh, it, it is one of the real challenges of, of modern living. We, we, we understand yeah. that. So be, between law enforcement and, and mental, mental health, health support, uh, we, we, we think we're, uh, we're holding our own, and, but we, we can o always do more. Always improve, but there, that's another reason, you know, one of the reasons I brought up is people need to know why that's part of your budget. Yes. It's not just to have right. somebody policing the door. Right. You, like right. you just said, the partnership is right. unbelievable. Yeah. You guys and, need that. And it's really preventive in nature. Yes. It, you know, unfortunately, we have to respond yes, to things do. occasionally. But uh, for every incident we respond to, there's probably 20 that school resource officer has been able Prevent. to defuse. Yeah. And prevent, yes. Yeah, that's great. Um, we have to wrap up. And unfortunately, we have so much going yeah. <laughs> still to talk about. But um, Dr. Grenier, thank you so much for being here today. You're welcome. Um, so this, so much knowledge about this year as well, fiscal year ending 2020 school budget proposed. Um, I wish you guys the best of luck. I hope all goes through smoothly. Thank and um, thank you again for being here. You're, you're welcome. Um, thank you all for tuning in today, and um, if you're looking for more information on the fiscal year 2020 school budget, it can be found at the bottom of your screen.